Okay, I'm gonna record here. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much, Sterling. Okay. Um, you know what? That phone is never on. Like well, sometimes, last time I had a, a technical complication, and I thought, oh, I'll just call you. But look, it's not working. Oh, no, it's been off. You're right. Yeah, so to the future. No, but it's okay. I'm, okay. I'm trusting it's gonna go well. But for the future, yeah. all no right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You want to start us off? I sure do. Okay, so we are so, so thrilled to have you on this call, Isabel. Oh my goodness, I can't even start to tell you how excited we all are. Um, and you know just what's so weird about that is that I don't know what's up with me. Are we recording this? Yes. Yes. You might want to edit that out. Okay. <laughs> Because it has nothing to do with anything. But it's fine. I, am, I have no sense of that. Like, I have no sense of anybody being excited about me talking to them. No <laughs> sense. Like, my, I, I said to my husband uh, yesterday, I said, it's so weird. People actually want to talk to me on these Zoom calls. <laughs> so I hear you that. I'm like, this is so odd. I just don't understand it. But it's lovely. And I'm very happy because I'm more available. So it's nice. And thank you. Yeah, so we're, okay, thank you. So we'll just do a, 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 just a quick introduction. We just wanna just take a few minutes, Isabel. I, as, I, as we announced this to the team, I said that, you know, you're somebody that we personally look up to tremendously. You know, I love what you do on social media and the power of your story and your voice and your message. And it resonates with me at a very deep soul level. And I know a which lot part, Which part? The, you talk, you're not talking about my little Facebook thing, are you? I am. I'm talking about oh. your lives. I'm talking about your lives, Isabel. Thank you. I love your lives on Facebook. So, OK, for those of you not following Isabel Deichler, don't do it now, because we have to have full attention to her. But you need to go and follow Isabel because she's got a lot of great things to say and it's amazing. But also I enjoyed so much, we enjoyed so much being able to be a part of what you're speaking to in Punta Cana. Um, and our team was able to engage in a little bit of that as we streamed it live and we're able to really just hear some of these nuggets. So we're thrilled, you know, as one of the co-creator Shakeology, 3D Refresh, Ultimate re um, you know, Reset. Uh, gosh, you, have, you have so much... You have so much credentials, I can like get my tongues all tied up. But you know, really, we're just honored to have you on the call, Isabel. I just wanted yeah. to say a great thank you. Um, I know that you are just going to bring the knowledge in uh, all yes. things technology um, and your passions tonight. And we're just so excited to turn the team call over to you to take it away. And um, we'll go from there. Well, uh, I wanted to ask, are the people that are on the call, are, were they Punta Cana was that new information for them so, so for some people they saw some of the some of yours your talk um, but there were only a few of us at Punta Cana so this will be new information for a lot Good. of people and we have a lot of new coaches as well Isabel um, so just for the, our new coaches we did explain so oh. Isabel's married to Carl Deichler they're a power couple um, within Beachbody, lots to certainly, um, you know, complement each other. One's the business side and one is just, Isabel is just the guru of all things Shakeology and nutrition. And we're just excited to have you on the call. So a little bit of history, you know, we are a fairly new team. We're about two and a half years new um, with a lot of really doing so good inspired, amazing right. leaders <laughs> on this team. So I just look at the faces on this team and I'm so inspired. So I know that they're excited to hear from you. So we're going to let you do it. But a lot of them have not heard you speak, Isabel. So this will be okay. new for them and anything you can share will be great. Okay. So would you like to hear, because that's a new thing that I'm realizing people like like to hear which is what we did in Punta Cana so my husband did not tell me exactly what we we're going to talk about but he really thought it was important to reintroduce the story of how it came about would you like to see that okay because yeah. I don't want to bore you with stuff that you're not into everyone's nodding <laughs> by the way I'm looking at you which means I'm probably not looking at the camera is that a big deal or is that oh, weird? No, you're good it's you're so great. hard to look at the hole when I have faces right <laughs> so Okay, so how it came about is that um, in my early 20s, um, I slowly started to get very, very ill. Um, quite active always, I was a runner. Um, and uh, slowly I found myself um, unable to um, be productive in my days, couldn't retain information, uh, got more and more lethargic and no energy. 
Um, and then it started really affecting my body, so my ability to walk, move. Uh, at the same time, couldn't sleep, um, aches and pains everywhere. And um, back in those days, uh, nobody could really answer to the aches and pains that I was having. Nothing connected the dot in terms of Western medicine 20 something years ago. Um, so I went from doctor to doctor to doctor and no, nobody had answers and at least a year went by and at some point I was told that, uh, so at some point I, I literally was sharing for the first time that I got to a place where um, I lived in a house, I had two little tiny steps to lead to my door and uh, I could not even lift my feet off to walk up those steps. Steps and I collapsed and cried. I was there for so long, and um, and I've, I I dragged myself to another doctor, and um, he basically was telling me I was depressed, and something bing 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 went in at that point because I was telling the doctor, or I think I wanted to tell him, I don't know which one, but I know that very clearly. I thought, of course I'm depressed. I can't make money. I am in debt, I lost all my clientele, I can't go to school, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pay my rent. Uh, having, at, at that point, I was not able to pay my electricity bills because I couldn't work and I couldn't go to school, so I was afraid I would lose my ability to go to school. Um, and, and bear in mind that back in those days, I also was dealing with green cards. So there was a lot of, of financial and future-like fears uh, rearing up and this doctor telling me that I was depressed made me realize that he was compartmentalizing me. He was objectifying me in a box, forgetting there was a whole human being here. Then of course I was depressed and that was adding to the toll on my physical well-being. And he gave me an antidepressant pill. I took just a few and it made me nuts. Like I just, especially in back in those days, they were even less sophisticated. They gave you big doses and were not as good as refining it. Um, and I went crazy. I lost control of my mind. I figured that's, that's not it. And that, that is what embarked me on my ride. So for the first time, I really investigated um, Chinese medicine, uh, Ayurvedic medicine, herbs, tonifying herbs, adoptogen. I really deeply looked into my digestive system. Back in those days, again, um, it was a French book that was called The Second Brain. And they were really starting to unravel the fact that the digestive tract and this whole abdomen area um, had a lot to do with your physical and emotional well-being being that it was really a key player for many aspects that we tended to think of as our brain doing that kind of work and they're starting to realize the connection of how deeply important it is to to have a, a digestive system the whole thing stomach you know um every, every compartment that from the moment you i'm trying to stay very simple so everybody can understand um from the moment it hits your mouth, goes down your throat, this whole thing until it comes out and how it comes out, the whole thing is crucial to your actual ability to be healthy, to think straight, um, your emotional well-being. So they were just starting to unravel that, at least outwardly in public with books. So I had read that French book and that really came back to me and I started also to look into, hey, who's that little girl? listening to me, Mike. <laughs> so, beauty there. <laughs> it's my daughter, Victoria. Oh, she's lovely. Thank you. Hi, Victoria. Hello. She said hi. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, so I realized that basically so many aspects of our well-being had to do with elements that the Western medicine did not seem to even look at when I dragged myself to their offices. So I was stating, water break, I was stating back in Punta Cana that um, that is also where I realized the emotional aspect of our well-being had a lot to do with our physical well-being and how to be ignored as a full human being, how we work our whole beingness, our whole body, as opposed to trying to figure out one thing that is wrong and trying to medicate 
use medicine for that very thing and dismissing the whole person was a big aspect of the Western world that was unrecognized back in those days. So I went nuts into studying, reading everything I could, realize it was quite complex. And then I went to Chinatown. I went, um, I, I did acupuncture, but I really, back in those days, was so broke that I couldn't buy pills. Or I I couldn't go see doctors that were more um, known for their ability to help the Western person understand and, and work with uh, the Eastern ways of dealing with their bodies. So I was in Chinatown with people that didn't speak English and I was broke, but it was much cheaper to buy the roots and to cook them yourself and to mix them and blend them and crush them into powder. It was also disgusting. It tasted awful. It made a mess of my house. I was cooking stuff. I was fermenting stuff. That was to deal with my digestion, prebiotic, probiotic, digestive enzymes. But I was cooking and making all of it. But it did taught me, teach me a whole lot. Um, and I started putting the dots together and slowly but surely healed myself. And and through that also deal with my emotional, psychological um, challenges, the things I had never really looked into. And that, that is what I, I'm starting to dive into when I do my Facebook page uh, carefully. I don't want to offend anybody. And it's really based on a no specific belief system, but um, a deep desire to inquire and to create a curiosity in your mind in your heart so that you can fully understand your whole being so we do a great job at dealing with the body the food and i feel like there's another element but i wanted to be clear that it was not reflecting on everybody at beach body so that's why i made it separate but back in those days all of that coagulated together and um, i started practicing that with my clientele as well seeing how so many of these key elements were not dealt with at the time I was dealing with a lot of athletes. So I have to say that athletes have an intense pressure emotionally and psychologically as well. So on top of their, the high level of demands on their bodies, there's a high level of demand on the emotional and the psychological. And I feel that that leads into mothers and fathers working and all the complexities of our world. So it's important to assess the whole thing when you look at yourself. So that was the beginning of my self-discovery. So it led me to making shakes for my clients. And then it led me to making shakes to companies. So if I was uh, working with a CEO or a director, I would then sort of create shakes for the whole crew, the whole team or the actors. I worked with a lot of actors back in those days on film sets. And so um, my way of dealing with the emotions, the, the psychological pressure and the body, my shake became, it, it dealt with all that. And I was able to do it specifically for each group or each, each individual, but I learned a lot through that. And so it led me to, I will cut short my story. It led me to meeting Carl and then we moved together and he was very, um, it, it became very clear to him how much uh, I was dealing with his health and my child health through the shake as well. Anything that I couldn't, find a way into their mouth, whether it tastes terrible or didn't want to hear about it or they didn't want to, you know, um, uh, it, it was too many things to take. I would just find a way to put it in a shake. And uh, it led to him asking me to develop a shake for Beachbody. Um, so that's the story of, of Beachbody. So through this story, you can see how I'm trying to say as much as I can. My dear, ask me questions, stop me anytime you want. Um, through that, um, you can recognize all the elements that are in beach body, in the, in the beach body shake, shakeology. So we do have phytonutrients, um, that are a specific form of antioxidants that, and, and we have, um, you know, fruit super. So the, the super, super green phytonutrients, fruits, antioxidants, we have, are adoptogen, and I'll dive into that specifically. And then we have our protein, and then we have our healthy fats, and we also have um, our prebiotic, probiotic, 
digestive enzymes and fiber blend. And all of these elements are the elements that I discovered through my own healing journey. Um, I had a list of all of these elements that I wanted in my shake. I needed help. At the time, the company, you know, the shake thing was a whole new thing. So I needed a partner. I was told about Darren. I asked him to bring his list. He brought his list and we compared. And it was practically the same thing with the same philosophy, the same understandings um, and the same love. And so I knew I had found the perfect partner um, to help me in, those, on, in those, that journey. Um, and that's the beginning of the shake. Tell me if there's a direction you would like to me to um, go into. Do you want me to go into um, my two favorite, um, the new development? Do you want me to talk about matcha green tea and, um, and the shaga mushroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. <laughs> We'd like you to talk about it all. all right. So let's, for the new people, we added two new wonderful um, elements to the shake, the matcha green tea and our shaga adaptogen mushroom. Um, so let me explain the beauty of adaptogen. And, um, and I found a way in Punta Cana to put it simply. I hope I can recall that. When did you start feeling better? Oh, me? Um, I started feeling, you mean back in the days? I think it took me about, it took me three months to have a sense that something was happening. It took six months or so to start really sensing a level of energy and a minimizing of pain. And it took a year to be fully done. Um, I had been sick for two years and it had started happening three years. So the beginning of it was three years prior to that. So to so, me, that was rapid, that was rapid uh, healing. So when you started doing shakes, sorry, I'm new to this, so I didn't know I was like talking right away. So, um, uh, well, hi, nice to meet you, by the way. I'm Jeanette. I just started uh, coaching like five days ago, I think. Oh I became a coach, so I'm pretty excited. Um, but uh, um, I'm really into nutrition as well. So I, you know, and I do have a lot of like stomach issues to where I am really sensitive to a lot of things. Um, so you know, having psychology actually for the last few days, it like, it makes me feel really good and it's not, you know, bloating my stomach or anything. So how, what were your symptoms? Like, as far as like, did you start feeling better? Like as far as like, um, your digestive system as well. And then you started noticing that your body was feeling more energized and then you kind of like started having more energy and just, you know, felt better overall. So kind of like how, how did you know that it's going to, you know, because I feel like food is just such a huge part of how we feel. Um, but how did you know that actually the shakes that you're making or what to put in them, um, that is going to make a difference? What's well, a big question. I'm not sure if you're asking me 25 years ago uh, or if you're asking me how long will the shake take to make you feel better, which is a very... Um, there's no way I can answer that for Yeah, no, I think just in the beginning when you first started, like, did you feel uh, better, got like, digestive system first, and then, then your body kind of followed, got like, it. feeling got better? It. Got it. Um, it was 20-something years ago. Very hard for me to start itemizing which happened first, second, and third. But I love your question. If I was on my Facebook page, I would dive deep into that one. Um, I love your question because it's a little bit of objectifying your body as if the body is a linear machine. So um, there is no ABC and there would be no one way where it needs to happen this way and this is how it's gonna happen to you. So be reassured, these are the specific signs that will show you that it works. That's talking like medicine, like a drug. So the shake, so I, I, I will let go of uh, 25 years ago. So quickly, I don't remember, which one which? Uh, it's been too long, and I've been through so much more ever since. Um, but the very first sense, and, and that's the honest truth, so I don't know if it's gonna satisfy your very specific 
desire for a specific answer. But what really happened to me is this. I'll mimic it. I hope you can hear me and see it. It was this that happened to my body. Hmm. There was a sense of, oh, okay, I'm handled. It was a sense of finally rescue. And I can't express that in specific ABC, but it was an intuitive knowing that finally something was giving to my body that was what it needed. And it's hard to express. I can't itemize that. But that was, a, that was the most profound sign that something was working. That was what allowed me to say, no matter what they say, this is how I'm going to go about it. That was what I call the intuitive truth that exists in all of us that will tell you without a doubt, this is right for me. And that is where each of you needs to come from. That is what is right for me. I can only answer so many questions. If you keep coming back with too many doubts, I cannot help you. My job is to make sure that the shape is as clean, pure, and effective as possible so that as the, I can create that sensation in your body and that sensation is your truth mm -hmm. and then that allowed you to stay curious and to stay an active co-creator of your health you can't sell that and you can't convince someone of that so you can answer all the intellectual question but your knowing your truth is that and that was what i was hooked to alternative way to support my health from that moment on. Because I was not a person who had known anything about it before. So I was not trained or raised in that environment. So that is something that I cultivate in my one-on-one -on -one clientele. And I wish to God I could speak to that more and more to the Beachbody crowd, because I feel that there's a disconnect to our bodies and an over-reliance on our minds. So information is crucial. It's important understanding how your body functions so that elements that you take make sense to your intellect. But if your body is so ill, or if your mind is too doubtful, there is no space for experience. You need to be able to take a beat and experience something. So that is my answer to you because I can't remember exactly the, you know, uh, the sequencing, but I do remember that I was, that had a profound impact on me and that changed my life. And that is how I formulate. So there's elements sometimes that are brought up to me where there's science evidence of ABC, it's all good. I just don't feel good about it. Something's just, just not right. I will, um, I will listen to all the evidence, but if I get this great, great doubt in me, I will ask them if there's something else we can replace it with or work with other elements that I'm more at peace with because I trust and I've nurtured that aspect of me. And that is something that I wanna nurture in you by giving you the elements to get rid of that, um, all, all that created discord, incoherence in your own body where you can't even hear yourself, tell yourself what's right for you. So then you become so reliant on only information and you're completely out of touch with your body telling you what you need. And I count on that with the beach body crowd. I count on you feeling it so that you, you enjoy understanding everything, but at the end of the day, it's because it feels good when you drink it that you know it's working. So I might have gone too long on that answer. Um, but is that, uh, was there a, a, a point B to that question? No, that's perfect. You know, I just kind of wanted to get an, get an idea. And, uh, you know, I, 
it just shows your passion, you know, like when you're answering the question, uh, um, shows your passion about it. So I'm really actually excited to continue to drink it and really see, um, you know, where that, where that goes, because I do, I do, I'm very in tune with my body and mm. what I can and cannot have. Um, mm. so I'm really excited to see what the next, you know, week and two, um, you know, will bring, but the, the, the first three days, um, you know, I love it. I'm not bloated, which, you know, I, I am very particular about shakes that I can drink. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited. So thank you yeah. for the answer. And also keep in mind that, um, I shouldn't go too there because that's too individual right now. But keep in mind when you've had a lot of inflammation problems mm -hmm. with the, you know, so much of our challenges in, especially in digestion comes from um, inflammation. Right. Keep in mind that you might need extra help. Since you know a lot about nutrition, keep in mind that there might be many other elements in your own diet that needs to be looked at and, and, and carefully tested to see it's not creating more inflammation. But let's move on so I don't focus on one person. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Isabel, bef before, you, before you continue, I mean, we, this is, and I know, I'm sure you've been asked this question so many times. What, what's the best way for coaches to respond about breastfeeding, Shakeology? Um, mm -hmm. We get asked that question so often as coaches. I know. Legally, I'm only allowed to say to go and talk to your doctor. <laughs> um, I, can't, I can't go deep in that one. We used to. Yeah. And um, su success, you know, with everything, there's a, a reaction. And uh, so uh, we have to be very careful. Um, too much liabil liability. Um, again, this is where information and education comes into play. So you can... comfortable with what they are, their purpose, and if you feel your points and counterpoints to your doctor and, and, and make the decision that is right for you. Yeah, that's great. That's now, what about somebody with celiac disease? Would that be... Um... Same thing. Um, you know, we can only say that many of the elements in the shake... Uh, contribute to healthy processing of food, digestion, assimilation, detoxification. And yet, I can't go specific with disease because many years contributed to uh, a diagnosis. And, um, and the medical community will handle that di diagnosis very differently. Um, so legally, I can't go deep into specific disease because you can easily come back to me and accuse me of having made you worse. Yeah. And me meaning beach body. Um, so I can't go there anymore. But those diseases don't just happen because you suddenly drink a shake. Those diseases take years to be created. And there's a lot of information about um, the, the lining of your stomach and your colon and how that gets uh, um, compromised and what compromises that and what is needed to heal it. There's a lot of information about that. So again, you can say to someone, you must educate yourself because no matter what, you know, um, the shake is not, it's like eat one, an apple a day to keep the doctors away. Yeah. Fantastic, an apple is very good for you. But if you only eat the apple and everything else is crap, guess what, the apple can't fix that. So you have to understand that we, the shake itself is the beautiful synergy of many elements that are healthy for you. It cannot counteract your whole lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It cannot counteract what everything else that you eat and drink. And it definitely cannot completely counteract your emotional and psychological state of mind and heart. And all these elements contribute to your well-being, your job, and the different stressors will contribute to the well-being of your digestive tract. Listen, gut feeling, we say, right? You have a gut feeling. Well, I think that in the decades to come, we will understand to a great degree what gut feelings is. You're not just digesting food with your guts. You digest your life. Mm -hmm. It's 
all of you. It reacts to your emotional state and then it creates chemicals to react to your emotional state. So if you're a person who makes huge drama out of everything, and I'm not undermining that as if it's a silly thing, but there's a personality that will, because of their childhood and all that stuff, really overreact over everything. There is no balance. Guess what? That is wear and tear on your body and your guts is what feels and deals with that. And so it will create disharmony in your ability to digest and be healthy. So all these elements are as important as drinking your shake. So that's something that I see more and more and I'm glad you pointed that out because it does a whole lot of good, but it is not you. You're in charge of your life. So celiac disease is a whole combination of elements that you need to take control and you need to be responsible for. And then of course the shake is a great tool on that road, but it's a tool. Mm -hmm. It's not Jesus. Yeah, that's offense. Thank you so much as well. Thank I love you. how you speak. Yes. Thank you, Tanita. Great question. Um, okay, I'm just going to go to Christine's question. So she's saying, I understand that maca root is an essential ingredient in the... Sh Did I just totally ruin the name? <laughs> Don't let me pronounce ingredients in Shakeology, Isabel. Please, um, me and you together. <laughs> um, but she said, uh, sorry, it's an essential ingredient in the shakes, but she's also heard that it can only be taken for a certain amount of time. Hold on one sec. I'm being distracted. Come here. Look who's here. <laughs> hey! Hey! Who's that guy? Hey, Carl Deichler. Oh, man, I'm officially the ugliest person on the <laughs> No, that is not even cool. No, you're not. <laughs> man. I just brought them all down. All right, don't tell them, but I'm going to go up <laughs> to the restaurant and get a burger and bring it. <laughs> 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 It's a super secret. All right. All right. It's safe with us. Good looking yeah. crap. Okay. <laughs> I know. I said to them when they first I first walked in, they were both there, and I thought it was a picture. It was so perfect. Right. And they yeah. came with the, they came with the computer. That That's right. Good. That's right. All right. I'll be back. I'm just getting. All right. Thank you for your visit, honey. Oh, that was fun. That was great. <laughs> so, what was the question? Yes. Okay. So. How do I say it? Maca? I think it's my, I don't maca know. Maca root is an essential ingredient in the shakes, but she's also heard that it can only be taken for a certain amount of time, especially for women. Do you have any insights on that? Nope. Okay. No, that's um, good. Yeah. yeah. I'm honest. Um, and also, um, you know, if they're going to go according to, you know, again, I can't, I can't uh, dictate, oh, no, you can, but I've never heard of that. Like literally never. But that doesn't mean I don't want to deny your, um, if you have a sense that that's true for you, then take that into consideration. But I can't talk to it because I never heard it. Oh, that's great. Okay, uh, nice. Ali, the gluten-free one? Okay. Yeah, well, we'll do that. The, the one, I find this an interesting question. We're just going through the chat, Isabel. If, and if there was one ingredient that's not in Shakeology that you could put in, what would that be? Um, I think phyto phytoplankton. Mm. I'm a big fan of uh, sea elements. And the big challenge that we have with that, because we have looked into it, um, is that, um, it, the, you know, unfortunately, the, the, um, the ocean is quite polluted, as we all know. Uh, as, uh, radiation, drugs, all sorts of things are now in the ocean. And... Um, it is very challenging to, 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 first of all, put it into a powder form, but it's very challenging to have something that is not loaded with toxicity levels that is not, uh, it's not, uh, we can't allow that in our shake. Um, but it's very sad because it, it, it's full of potential. Um, there, there are fucosoid and the, there's a, there's a lot of elements that are used all over China, Japan, India, uh, as a part of Europe, uh, where they, they are make, doing studies and research with just incredible results. And um, I would love that to be part of the shake. Um, again, it's, you have to deal with the reality 
uh, of the world. And so, yeah, that would be one thing. There's many things that I love, but I have great love for things of the ocean. Yeah. Um, there's um, vials, um, Quinton. I don't know if you guys know the Quinton water vial. Uh, they're full of minerals. It's only one company that does it and it's pure and it's a beauty. Even that is hard to get in the United States. Now I have to order it from um, Switzerland, from Europe. So um, the things of the ocean are magical. Um, but then there's a lot of magic all over nature. So do you want to speak to the new ingredients, the magic? Yes, perfect segue. That would be perfect segue into the new magic ingredients. So the two new ingredients are matcha green tea and shaga. So I'll get into matcha green tea. So our supplier is organic. Um, we, can, we get organic whenever we can. Um, and um, and it, the beauty of matcha green tea is that it, uh, two things. We use an extract, very carefully kind, gentle extract. And we also use the whole leaf. So it's double whammy. We get both of best, best of both worlds. Uh, matcha green tea is amazing because it's um, 10 times, they say 10 times, but it's an approximate number, higher in antioxidant. It has its own particular antioxidants that uh, do wonders. One of it is, uh, I think it's pronounced a catechin. And like you, sometimes my pronunciation, I'm not sure. And Catechins are, there's two things, catechins, kif, which are super potent, super high antioxidants. And there's an amazing thing about matcha green tea. A, it's got the high level of chlorophyll, great detoxifier, which are, cre is created by shade grown leaves. So by carefully controlling how much sun the, plant, the, the tea gets, uh, the last three or four weeks of its growth, you can really enhance the chlorophyll level in, in the tea, which is specific to matcha green tea. Um, so that's an amazing thing to have. This is where the vibrant green color comes from. Um, and also there's a beautiful thing. It has caffeine and L-theanine, an amino acid. L-theanine deals with caffeine by taking away, by neutralizing all the aspects of coffee that are not beneficial to our well-being. Um, the difficulties to go to sleep sometimes uh, if you're drinking after two or three o'clock, but even for so many individuals, even when they have one cup in the morning, it still interferes with their ability to deal with stress properly or to go to sleep. Um, and so what it does is it's what it's called the calm, relaxed focus. Um, this is why it was used by the monks for meditation. It allowed you to stay alert and yet not all over the place and frazzle, very focused and relaxed ability to stay alert. And um, this is why it was so famous um, in Tibetan rituals. Um, so there's a, a the high level of antioxidants, amino acids, vitamin, minerals, but also this amazing ability to create energy and to neutralize all that is not beneficial in creating that energy, which is all in there in the tea. Um, so it's an incredible um, uh, addition that combination with all the other high antioxidants fruits will enhance your ability to deal with stress better. Uh, but it also has that extra little thing that we love so much, which is why we put it in the boost as well. Because we wanted to make, create a, a powder that would help you to have energy without having all the negative effects of create, of uh, caffeine. And so that was a perfect fit as well. So now we have it in, in the shake. And then, Shaga. I'm very much in love with adaptogen, so is Darren. And so, Shaga is an adaptogen. So let me explain to you the beauty of adaptogen. Your well-being depends a lot on an internal int integration, alignment, coherence um, among all your talking parts. So your glandular system, your endocrine system, your digestive system, your cardiovascular system, lungs, your blood vessels, all these systems have to communicate and be in alignment to be healthy. 
medicine will go in and hone in on one part that is broken, putting, you know, not functioning well, and it will try to fix it. But usually it creates mayhem in the other system of your body. This is why when you see commercial for a pill, for a problem, and then you see all the other stuff that could happen, may not, but could happen that is horrifying. So the beauty of adoptogen is it doesn't need us to tell it where to go. It knows better. It can go in there and it can help bring in alignment that particular system that is not functioning well. It will bring it in alignment back in a integration and a system of communication that is healthy for you to feel good. And it will do that without harming any other system. And that is an that is utmost intelligence. Human beings can't really do that yet. So this is what's so beautiful adopt, with adoptogen. And no, not harming the whole in order to fix one area is a must in calling something an adoptogen, whether it's a mushroom or an herbs. So um, we are very excited to add another one, Shaga, to our list of adoptogen to help you once again. It's always about your ability to adapt to stress, your enhance your immune system and your feeling of well-being through all your organs, all your system functioning well. Um, so Shaga and Matcha Green Tea are another addition and combined with all the other phytonutrients, high antioxidant superfruits and adoptogen uh, elements. It, it's just, again, reinforcing the philosophy that created the shake. Is there more you want me? You know, there's a statement. I, do, I wasn't sure if I, I, could, uh, I could read it. I love it. So the three, I brought it just for this call. It's the first time I did that, but I loved it. Um, the, I do, I, according to Dr. David Winston, who is considered an expert on adoptogen and who has written many books, blah, 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 uh, says that adoptogen must meet three criteria. The substance is relatively non-toxic to the recipient, and adoptogen influences many organs or body systems not specific and acts by increasing the resistance of the organism to a broad spectrum of adverse biological, chemical, and physical factor. That's what I just explained to you. And these substances help modulate system function and maintain homeostasis and the homeostasis is what I've just discussed to you and so these three things must exist for something to be an adoptogen and it's a little miracle um, and the homeostasis of your internal system is really you um, it, it goes back to your emotional psychological and physical well-being we tend to separate them they do not separate they function together. So if any of these systems are not well, you are challenged on the emotional and psychological, your ability to function and to react to the outside and inside stressors will not be accurate. It will not be uh, you know, effic efficient in handling any of these stressors. So homeostasis, Internal homeostasis is crucial, and you will know it when you don't have it. And I believe that it, that expiration, you know, that feeling, I said, <sighs> I believe it has something to do with that. I believe that by the time I ingested and started incorporating all these elements in my body, slowly, my body knew that it was being helped at doing what it knows, how, what it knows to do best. I finally gave it the tools to bring back health. If you don't give it the tools, it cannot do its work. And because our ability to eat healthy or our understanding of what food is in our lives, uh, because it's a bit chaotic nowadays, we don't realize how important these tools are. We don't have access to them the way way back then they used to where picking everything they ate from the ground or from the trees was just the way it was 
Um, we don't, hardly any of us do that anymore. So all these very fragile elements uh, that are crucial to your physical and emotional health uh, are rarely in your food, rarely in your plates. And therefore, this is why we're so, so um, insistent on bioavailability of all our product, making sure that that which is beneficial in the plant, whatever that is, is still alive and active once you ingest it, so it, that it can help your body do what it knows how to do. Wow. That, you are so knowledgeable. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? Every time I hear that, I laugh. Because I constantly deal with people that are solely dealing like an herbalist or a Chinese uh, doctor who knows only adoptogen, who has centuries of lineage of knowledge that we in the West are just barely starting to poke at. And so it's interesting when I hear that, and this is why we never know anything. It's, we are constantly learning and we know very little, and we also know very little about the intelligence of our own bodies. This is why we have to keep it healthy, because the healthier it is, the more clarity you are on things that you think has solely to do with your mind and your understanding. But your soul lives in that body. It is infused within the cells of your body. It is in constant communication. And so once you keep that body healthy, there is something that is indescribable. There's a clarity that helps you actually be clear in your own life. I don't know if this is the place to bring that up, but it made sense to me because the more I honor this body, the less I need tools to tell me what to do because I give it what it needs, it tells me what else it needs. And the more I'm capable of listening. So I know very little, but I do my best to to constantly investigate the mysteries of this body. And I think the more you read about things that we take for granted, how we see, how we talk, how everything keeps going, even when we go to sleep, that we don't have to remember to breathe, that our bodies knows when and how to breathe. All these things, it's a miracle. So when you start investigating how it functions, you realize you know nothing, but it certainly is fun and invigorating and it puts you in the control seat in many ways to constantly learn about it. And this is what the shake is about. It's an ever evolving product. When I agreed to make the shake and started my journey and brought there in the board, we wanted to make sure that everybody understood that we want the right to evolve and change the shake as we evolve and learn more and more, improve it, modulate it, so that we are not holding on to a principle, but we are living an experience. The same way that people hold on to a religion, but are missing the mystical experience of that deep knowing, that deep truth. So thank you. But I'm just like you. I'm just learning and growing and investigating and changing my mind and, and adding and taking away. And, and it's a fun ride. And this is why I love these calls. And I wish I could go wide on it from each element to all that other stuff. Yeah. Because I think at some point we'll all, it will become very experiential that there's no difference. Mm -hmm. And so honoring what you put in your body and honoring what you allow yourself to listen to on a day-to-day -day basis, honoring these thoughts that are so detrimental and creating stress on your body, on your digestive tract, how you talk to another human being, all these things is your physical well-being. There is no separation. This is why you know, I feel like my bigger job is the gatekeeper, is to make sure that with all the experts that know so much more than I, but I'm very good at that, honoring the integrity and the purpose and the intent of the shake. And I take that very seriously because 
I believe in karma, which is simply consequences of your actions, your thoughts, your words. And so you are all ingesting this shape. Your children are. And, and I would, um, I need to honor that, that I am so blessed that you trust and take these tools, ingest these tools that we're providing. And so I need to make sure that it is as clean as I can make it with my own knowledge. So as my knowledge evolves, so is the shake. Now, um, there was a question, Isabel, about Rodel Rodel here we go again. Rodelia rosea. Is yes, an adaptogen. It's a strong aptogen. It's in one of the boosts, but yes. it's not in the Shakeology. Is there, is there a reason to that? And in that same question or in a separate question, a reason to what? Uh, is there a reason that it's uh, not in the Shakeology? Sorry, that it's in the Rodelia rosea is a strong aptogen and it's in one of the boosts. There's no why it's not in the Shakeology. Well, there's two things and to about that. First of all, um, like I say sometimes, it's a little bit like cooking. You can use all this in your omelet, but at some point your kid is hungry and you need to put food on the table. <laughs> so we had a lot of things to choose from, <laughs> but at some point we had to deliver a shake. So we had to choose some elements. There's so much. Yeah, um, I love that. So whatever elements were not in the shake, sometimes we're able, when it's appropriate, to use it in other areas. Mm. Also, some properties that legally I'm not allowed to go into, but you can read. You can go into Regiola. You can study what in China, uh, in other culture, why they use some adaptogen for some condition and not for others because they have thousands of years of use that we don't, but it is not proven by Western science. Therefore, we're not allowed to get into that. And I honor that. I think that there's a place for that, um, but I encourage you to study. But the main reason is we can't put it all. <laughs> We have to make a decision which one. And also, Rod Rodiola has a great purpose for the purpose of that particular boost. And I invite you to go read about it. So perhaps you can answer that question in more specific details, which I cannot. I like that. That's great. Um, OK, just looking through the, the um, questions here. The, glu the gluten is about, always comes up. Is there anything about gluten you're able to say or share? Yes. So basically, um, Facility, so in order to be gluten-free, the facilities themselves have to not make any other product that contains gluten. Not easy, especially with the volume. So finding facilities that can process as much volumes as we need is not easy. That being said, we clean, the facility is cleaned by professional thoroughly before our ingredients get processed, even between our own ingredients. So all the steps that are possible to do the best that we can to minimize the ability for gluten to be in our products, we do. We do all that is required, but we cannot make the statement that it's gluten-free because we do not have facility that solely do our own product that are and only that which is gluten-free. Um, so there's a lot of technical and legal aspect to all these reasons. So very often people, as I am, I'm quite a reactive to gluten, do quite well with our shake. But some people that are highly reactive, that even if there's something that was made and processed the day before, even though we clean, somehow, somewhere they can still react to it. And therefore, we have to just say, you can give it a try. So you can start with a third of a scoop. One time, I always say, take a very small dose, try one time, wait three days. It takes three days usually for the body to react and clear a reaction. So wait three days and see if you react. Um, but we cannot, we, this is the reason, one of the reasons why we cannot have the stamp. Um, but also, it is so clean. We, the purity and the processing of our products is so well um, 
um, what's the word in English? Um, there's a word that's perfect for that. Um, we are thorough in how we process our ingredients. Um, so you can, I feel that I can say, before you dismiss it completely, we have samples now, right? We get free sample. Try it. Try a third of the dose. Wait. See if you react. See how you feel. And then try again if you have no reaction. So you can try like that and see. Because if you, you personally do not react, then the benefit of the shake eventually could actually help you. Because it is nourishing to your digestive tract and your ability to stimulate and process and let go of food. So it could be beneficial, but you need to be, um, you have to give the power back to, the, to each individual. Is that helping you in terms of when you deal with people one-on-one? -on -one? I think we see some nods. Yes, I think that that's really helpful. And it's just a great snapshot hearing that come from you, Isabel. I know there's a lot of great information, certainly when in the FAQs and in that information, yes. for you to be able to wrap that up. Really I always try to stick simple, a quick answer. Um, but yeah, very often the challenge is to, um, to, be, to find and be able to afford the size of the facilities that could provide us with all that we need to be provided and process all that we need to process um that's not that's not an easy thing because then we have to find areas that do only our stuff so that they don't they're not allowed to do anything else yeah we're we're getting short on time so let's we'll oh. do one more question uh oh that's it oh my god oh, no. No, we have more questions we, we can go as long as you want i'm no, just... no, no go for it okay for it. Ja jackie wanted to ask a question jackie you're good to go Go, Jackie, go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Well, it's not really a question. Is Isabel, I appreciate you. And um, for three years, I was wanting to try Shakeology. I'm highly allergic to shellfish. And on the back, it said made in a factory. And I was not trying the vegan. I've tried the vegan for the past three weeks, but I started knowing my body and trusting my gut and my instincts is doing a quarter of the shake, half, Amazing. third, now full, oh. completely can sleep better, digest, uh, more energy, and I'm a mom. Um, I just wanted to thank you because this is, I've tried so many products and being in the fitness industry, I want to share this with you that when I trusted my gut instinct, I had four specialists and doctors remove a benign tumor two years ago. And that was based on, it was a seven inch muscle tumor. So I was working out, I was taking supplements and they were the wrong for my body. This I felt I can digest and I just feel it's extremely clean and so many results from people that I know. And I just wanted to thank you. Mm, I'm so happy. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank so, you for giving it a try. Thank you. For I appreciate you and the whole product. Sometimes, and sometimes fear itself stops you from investigating, and I understand that. Yes. Um, very, very much because when I was very ill back then, I was scared of trying these foreign elements that I didn't know. Um, I was scared of of reactions. I was, you know, I remember that fear that sometimes stops you from helping yourself. You're so afraid to be in more pain that you don't even try new things. And I really understand. So I'm always uh, very appreciative of the courageous souls that, yes. that keeps on trying. Yes. Because if your body does well with it, then it can actually help you. Well, it's not just mine. It's people around me and my loved ones. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I just wanted to thank you because I was scared of it for over three years. Yes, I understand. <laughs> no, I love it. And good, I'm pushing good. it upon everyone because it's awesome. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> Thank good. you for sharing that. Thanks, Jackie, for sharing that. Um, Three okay. questions. Let's go for it before my husband comes back from eating his. I know with his burger. Okay, um, that was so funny. Okay, so May said uh, the Canadian Shakeology bags don't have the nutritional facts anymore. Is there a reason? Do you know that why that's come off the bag? Oh yes, I hope we have a lot of videos and and Q and A answers. So, uh, the, what did she said? The vegan, right? Uh, it's uh, didn't say. 
It didn't say it's may. No nutritional. Uh, it's calories, carbs, fats, proteins on the bag. On the, of which one? Because is she in Canada or United States? Canadian, the Canadian Shakeology. Yes. Bank. yes. So there's a lot. It, it, this is a good question. Um, again, because we're going over time and I want to have more questions. But basically, a lot of the changes you'll see on the bag is, is all about legal, legal legalities. It's all about laws, changes of the laws that even though the elements have not changed at all in the shake, we are now being asked to say it differently or we can't, allow, we can't say it that way. There'll be changes in many elements that you'll see, especially in Canada, a whole different system than in America. Um, so there's things that we just can't, just over there, it's not legal, it's not accurate, or it's, or it's, it's said differently. So we have to do a lot of change like that on the bags. It is what it is, it is what it's always been, but Canadian laws are very different than American laws. United States. So um, I'm hoping that on the Q&A and in many other ways, we can actually specifically talk to all of that. I know that our team uh, and I and Darren, we're all discussing that and we're all trying to figure out how we can put out the information so that you don't freak out. So it's just, it's just technical. It has nothing to do with what's in the shake. Look, because I've noticed not many people go in a Q&A go in the Q&A. Um, we're going to work on making it more user-friendly. We have all sorts of ideas what, uh, that we're hoping to implement to make it more accessible and more available that um, you guys can share the information more easily. But yeah, no worries. It's just technical. Um, you know, we have an incredible team, which is, I don't know if the price is an issue that you deal with. Do you deal with that a lot? Price objections? Price objection, yeah. I think I think some do. Yeah. I think some do for sure. There are certain people that deal with the price objections for sure. Yeah. Yes, that will encounter them. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to talk about that a little bit because sure. it started with a very, very small team, Darren and I. So Darren had to go to New York and go to different places and vendors and discuss it. But it evolved quickly. It became successful quickly. And so now we have 20, 30, we have tons of experts, like I said, expert on adoptogen or herbalists. Uh, and we have people that go all around the world and knows exactly what to pick from the ground, how to test the soil, how to look at the facilities. This is not Darren and I. We do not have the ability to do that. This is a bunch of experts that are testing continuously traveling all around the world and making sure that the vendors, the suppliers live up to our standards. So it is tested over there. The, your product is tested many, many times from the farmers all the way to the bag, all the way to just before we close the bag to make sure that everything remains potent and bioavailable. This is something that is not often a, a, an a, a possibility for mom and pops. It's only once you get to a certain size that you can afford that. And it is also something that is not often done with big size companies. So we are, we have a mentality of mom and pops of being really hands on, but we also have the ability to test everything all the time, which is why sometimes something has been good a level of a standard that we love, it comes with test, 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 good in the back to you guys. Suddenly, after a year, suddenly the potency is not the same or it's not at all what it used to be. What happens? Sometimes we can't find the answer. We know in our personal life how hard it is to get the truth out of someone. <laughs> Sometimes it's very hard to get the truth out of what happened. So the only option is, is to opt out and then look for a different vendor, different supplier, or different uh, quality uh, um, ingredients that can bring us the same level of antioxidants. This is why there's a constant flux in the shake. We are constantly dealing with the unfortunate um, toxicity of our world. So something that was good a year ago, we do not assume that it will always be good. Therefore, we have 
dozens and dozens of experts are going all around the world testing and knowing how to make sure that those are clean, pure, and active. That is not just two people. Mm -hmm. We are the creator. We brought these ingredients. We, we brought the mentality, the understanding of these elements for our health. We put it together on paper and through uh, discussions. But it's that incredible team that we are so privy and lucky to have that makes sure that all the things that you and I are discussing are being done. They're also the one in the labs knowing how to bring that synergy. So all these very potent herbs taste like crap. They're, and their tastes are so different. They don't always combine well. Or there's elements that combine well, but other elements that don't. They're the ones who call us and say, hey, we know you like that, but we're having a problem. Once it sits for 40 days, once it's you know, blended with these elements of the shake, it, the chemicals don't do well with each other. What do you want to do about that? Do you want to try to, and they give us options. Those are experts. They have PhDs degrees. They know how to do that, not us. So the shake is now a creation of us and all of them. So I almost feel every time that I'm here that I should have my whole team because even though I seem to be the face or Darren seems to be the face, these guys are crucial to you knowing that what you've got is what you expect. So this is how I explain the prize especially with the state of affairs of planet earth, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. That's excellent. There's Alice Ann's asked a couple of times with about the soy. So I just wanted to, she was just asking about soy and whether or not there's soy in the, in Shakeology. No, I'm not a big fan of soy. Um, not that it doesn't have elements in it, but um, I won't go into that. I yeah. really don't want to be but um, it's not. Uh, it's not some. It's not my go-to. Okay. I'm. I'm guessing the whole can children have shakeology is another liability question. Yeah. It is. I, I can't again um, yeah. make your decision. Um, yeah. Remember back. I don't know. You guys. You said you kind of knew, but back in the days, I could. I was on stage with Carl. I remember, and I could say things and. Uh, <laughs> And I can't anymore. I can say that personally, I, I give it to my child. Yeah. Now, I would say that the shake is loaded with a lot. So be intelligent and wise in, in how much you decide you want your kid to have uh, because it's loaded. So be, you know, be smart. And I have a sense as I talk to mothers, I've noticed they know exactly how much and when. They have a great, I don't know, they just know how much and when, at what age to start. They, there's a great sense of that, that is that kind of wisdom that is hard to explain. You know, you can't prove that scientifically, but um, I've noticed that mothers don't have a problem. They have a, they know. <laughs> they just do it or they don't. But I can't tell you yay or nay. It's up to you and check with your doctors. That's great. Yeah, that's, our, ours have it as well. Uh, both Colby and Tess have it. Colby's very particular about the strawberry. And Tess is a chocolate girl like me. So, but I agree with you about the little, the small parts of yes. it. Yes, it's bit. potent. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Okay, and I think there was one other. Oh, I loved Carla's question. Carla asked, what is your favorite way to drink your shake on? <laughs> oh, I definitely have a favorite way. Um, no more than a teaspoon of coconut oil. Sometimes I do the coconut butter, which is very sweet. So that's really good too. I'm a big, big fan of fat. So I probably could not do any of the beach body diet because my fats alone would blow away the calorie intake. Um, but I put a teaspoon of coconut oil. I put a third or less than a third of avocados. So as you see, fiber and fat, protein, um, ice. And I have, <laughs> I have um, coconut milk and coconut water. So four ounces of coconut milk and four ounces of coconut water. That is how I have all my shakes, every flavor. Um, it's my go-to. I feel so nourished. 
um, by all of these elements in the shake. I'm a big fan of healthy fats. I really am. I think that uh, I think that's my challenge with calorie intake is that um, sometimes it doesn't calculate the great benefits of nu of dense nutrition and uh, and coconut and all those good healthy fat avocado are fantastic and I, I have a lot more than what most diets would allow. Um, but I'm a big fan of it and I think our kids really need it. Oh, I can't hear you. Um, what I really love about that, and it's a great nugget, just going back to the Beachbody program, like the 21 day fix, is I find we have customers that say, I can't get my teaspoons in, or I don't get all my containers in. And this is a great little added touch. And we'll say right from Isabel Deichler, yeah. adds her coconut oil. It's and a, it's, you know, it's more, it, Yeah, and I think, you know, again, it comes back to having a sense of what your body, when people yeah. go through uh, the ultimate reset and I navigate groups, you know, and um, they're starving and they just, all that. And I say, hey, hey, have twice the amount of vegetables, but the, the calories and the, and I said, but your body is telling you you need more. By all means, have more. Mm -hmm. Because if your body is feeling hurt, wounded by something, you may win this long, but in the long term, you will pay the price. So this is where intelligence and wisdom and ability to listen to your own system is so important. So diet is a, a good guideline, and then you have to have the flexibility to, to move with it. And the rigidity of our ways to deal with our bodies is something I have a problem with. And that's a very personal opinion where it's a good guideline, but it does not take into account you, you. You, you know, Jackie, you, Carla, uh, there's specific things that you will need on a day-to-day -day basis that this diet cannot account for. Um, but that takes um, great love for oneself because if you, more than anything, want to lose weight, uh, X amount of weight in X amount of time, and I'm going to be very candid, there's a, there's a part of that who, that dismisses something and but you know it's a difficult way things to navigate when you've been so out of touch with your body and you're trying to get back on track sometimes you have sometimes you may feel the need to be rigid to get results in a certain amount of time so yes i mean by all means i think fats are on the long run very beneficial to weight loss and well-being mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. So interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think this, I just can't, I could listen to you talk all night long. To be very honest, I think your whole team was. Um, Let but, me ask you something. Are you good? Have I, please tell me the truth. Have I been helpful? Have I answered what you wanted from this call? Because that's not to hear myself talk, is to provide whatever it is that you need. Yes, Isabel, like the, you should, amazing. Yes, 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 very. The like, the, the, chat. the chat is blowing up with how oh, good this was. Um, and just, it was just honestly, you know, so passionate, marvelous, love, love, love. Yes, oh my goodness, thank you. Very honest. They, and I'm so Hi, really this cool. is Brianna. Oh, here we go. Oh, good, good. Who? Hello. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> It's Brianna. I don't, see, I don't see who's talking to me. Are you? It's Brianna. <laughs> Hi, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. We're learning at eight. Okay. Okay. My birthday's May 25th. Uh -huh. Coming up soon. Oh, I see. How old are you going to be? I'm going to be nine. <gasps> hey, my son just turned nine this weekend. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. I know, I'm trying to find her. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, we really appreciate you, Isabel, and just the knowledge you bring, as well as the product. I think it's changed 
all of our lives, absolutely, and we are behind it 100%. So we thank you for your time. Um, thank you for responding to me on Mother's Day and on your <laughs> son's birthday. Like, it really shows, Isabel, how dedicated you are to this network and this company and your product and your mission and your passions. And it lights a fire within our bellies. And I'm going to get emotional because I think that's what this is about. This is about yeah. connection and this is about... Yeah, this is Thank you, know? you for saying that. Let me finish something. I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt you. No, please. My brain will forget. Um, don't forget that, that we're not here to sell. I know we want to sell. I know we want to make money. And I know we believe in what we're selling. But don't forget, at the end of the day, you're here to enhance another human being. At the end of my day, I'm here to enhance the best of my ability, another human being. And it doesn't... You can't let that trump all the other desires that you have. You cannot. This is not what Beachbody was founded on. It really is about an experience that you have and a true desire to help another human being, which is when I'm being asked questions on sales, I can't sell for the life of me, but I can listen. I can pay attention to someone. I can see what they are trying to hear from me and I can cater to that with an integrity and truth. And once somebody has too much objection, too many fears, in order to continue doing my best to enhance another human being, I have to honor these fears. They're not bad people. They don't just not get it. For whatever reason, at that point in their lives, they are not ready for it. I am not the only answer to all the problems, thank God. So if they need to go investigate somewhere else, that's okay too. And the fact that you're able to honor another human being, not having to, to believe and agree with everything you believe and agree with, that you're just capable of being there, listening, giving them the best of you, with the best of your experience and your belief, and offering it, Give them the opportunity to not be ready for it. Don't be in negation of another human being. We, for the same reason that I said your health is not just what you eat, but what you allow yourself to hear, pay attention to, listen to, how you talk to someone else, what you feel while you talk to someone else. All that is so healing. And all that you cannot prove, but another human being will know. And they'll never forget that you actually allow them to be who they are. Allow them not to be ready for you. And if they go somewhere else and it doesn't work, they'll remember you. And they'll come back because they didn't feel forced into anything. They didn't feel denied or judged for not understanding what you were discussing with them. It's priceless. That's karma. And so you are not salesperson in that way to me we are here to remember that the reason why we are here together is that we all felt aches and pains and we were all confused and ignorant to some degree and it led us to this so your 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 desire is to be there for another human being and it's okay if they walk away it's not the end of the world and we still want to wish them well and hopefully find a solution that helps them. So this is why when I speak about Shekaji, it is what I was able to come up with and create, hopefully to enhance another human being. It's not the only way. It's what I was able to come up with, with my team, with Darren, and it worked for you. And so this is, the, this is where you, I feel, need to come from when you represent the beach body team it's not the tiara it's not the red banner it's not walking on a red camp carpet it's lovely it's fun it's great to feel and look good in in your clothes but the well-being of a human being as a whole is what we're after and um and i think we forget that that a lot in these days and age and when i think beach body that is what I think, people that don't put someone else down in order to do well, that you can make money, look good, feel good by enhancing another human being, creating all that abundance. 
in them as well. It's rare nowadays that people are not thinking in scarcity ways or pushing someone needing to, in order to feel better, to push someone down. Let's not forget that. I sometimes feel that this aspect of the machine, that that human ability is gone. Not gone, but we lose it sometimes in all the fun gifts, prices, incentives. They're fun, they're great gifts, they're great incentives, but it is not your purpose. And purpose is not that complicated. We all worry about our purpose. Our purpose is to feel that integrity, that your actions and your thoughts and, and, and what you create in the world are good. It feels good and it creates good. Mm -hmm. And I think if we honor that, we're going to be just fine. There'll be moments, ups and downs, that's life, but it will equate, it will neutralize. And at the end of the day, you will be a happy human being and a healthy human being. And creating that is as important as creating a pack of a six pack abs. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that connected with you guys because that is truly and profoundly what I try to achieve because it feels so darn good. Yeah. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what we just, you just hit the nail on the head so many times. And I just, I'm feeling this love and how many people are just pouring out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is exactly how we want to serve this world and yeah. serve our clients and serve our teams and serve all the people because this is about servant leadership. It's about serving and helping people be their best selves. And I love what you said about you cannot force somebody to be ready for this. And, yeah. and that's, that's the beautiful part. So, uh, Isabel, yeah, I, I think, I think of everything that comes out, everything that comes out of my mouth, I think of it as a prayer. Mm. How would I want to say a prayer to another individual? This is how I feel, how important it is, how we go about this business as if it's a prayer. Yeah. How would you say that to another human being? And how would you want to hear that prayer to yourself? Yeah. So, you know, let's go in, in that sentiment. Yeah. Okay, we will. Thank you so much, Isabel. Have a beautiful night. Thank you very much, everyone. Bless your heart. Thank you for your dedication. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks, Isabel. Isabel. Goodbye. Bye-bye.